What's up guys? My name is Alex and in this video I'll show you how you can get rid of that pesky error that shows up on some Epson printers, the error code 0x97. One of the ways you can get rid of that error is by doing a printer head cleaning, so if you're only here for a tutorial on printer head cleaning this video is for you as well, so stick around. By the end of this video I'll also give you some details on how you can win your own uh, printer head cleaning kit, the one over here, and uh, I'll give you details on how you can enter and I'll send that anywhere in the world. So without further ado, let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, so just to give you an idea what I was dealing with, my printer would just emit some weird sounds, uh, spit out a blank page and then show the 0x97 error as seen here. Okay, so the first thing that Epson recommends that you do is to unplug your printer from the power and plug it back in. I honestly don't think this will solve much, but given that it's super simple to do, you might as well try it. The second thing you can try is to run a head cleaning cycle from your printer properties. Depending on the printer you have, your properties panel might not look identical to mine, but there's usually gonna be a head cleaning option in there. In my case, when I click on head cleaning, I get to choose whether I want to clean all colors, which I do in this case, and then once I start it, you just have to be patient and wait until it's done. This process can take quite some time, and while it's doing it, your printer will emit a bunch of different sounds, and that's perfectly normal. After this is done, you can print a nozzle check pattern to see if the error goes away. If it does, then your printer head is clean. It may still need more cleaning even if the error goes away, in which case you'll need to run the head cleaning cycle once more. However, keep in mind that running this cycle wastes a lot of color, so that's just something to be aware of. If this didn't help clean your printer head and get rid of the 0x97 error, then we'll need to go to step 3, which is to do a manual head cleaning. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a printer head cleaning solution. I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy some, or you can stick around until the end of this video and find out how to win the one I'm giving away. After you get your hands on a cleaning solution, you need to warm it up. What I did was is to put the bottle in a glass of warm water and just keep it there for a few seconds. You don't want to keep it there for too long because you may risk melting the bottle. Just a few seconds will do until the liquid inside it is warm. This ensures that the liquid passes easily through your printer. And now we go to the printer. We need to open it up so that we can get access to the colors. In my case I'm working on Epson Workforce WF3620 so I need to pull up on the sides on the whole scanner assembly to get to the colors. Depending on the printer you have this process may be different so consult your manual for details. Keep in mind that the printer head needs to be unlocked for this to work. I'm not showing it here but I went into my menus of the printer and I pretended that I'm gonna change a color cartridge. This allows me to unpark the printer head so that I can work on it. As you can see I can freely move it around. So I'm gonna unlock the protective cover and I'm gonna take out all the cartridges out of the printer. If you don't perform this step, the printer head will be parked and locked to the right side of your printer and you won't be able to move it around, so make sure to unpark your printer head before you do any of this. I'm then going to get a regular kitchen paper towel so that I can put it underneath the printer head and this will catch all the liquid that it's about to go out through the printer head. I'm flattening the kitchen towel because the printer head needs to go over it and the space in between the printer head and the rest of the printer is really narrow, so the kitchen towel has to be flattened. Now I can slowly move the printer head so that I get it on top of the kitchen towel. The reason this is important is because we want the towel to catch all the liquid that's about to come through the printer head.
I'm then going to take the syringe that comes with the printer head cleaning kit and I'm gonna draw in some of the solution in. You may need more or less of the solution depending on how clogged your printer head is. I'm gonna start with about 10 milliliters and go from there. At the bottom of your printer head assembly, there are these nozzles where the colors come from. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna attach the hose on the front side of the syringe to these nozzles one at a time and I'm gonna squeeze in some of the solution through the nozzles. These nozzles are super tiny so be careful when you're plugging the hose in. After you attach the hose to the nozzle, you can start slowly squeezing the liquid in. Don't go too fast because you risk damaging your printer head. This is also why it's important that the solution is a little bit warm because it makes this process easier. Just go slowly and be patient. Once I'm done with the first color, which in this case is black, I'm gonna move on to the next one. At this point you can actually see that the kitchen towel is soaking up some of the liquid that came through the printer head and it's mostly black in color because that's the color that we cleaned. Now I'm gonna draw in another 10 milliliters and I'm gonna go in with the color that's next. Once I started squeezing the syringe on the cyan color, I realized that it's providing a bit more resistance compared to the black one. That's what led me to believe that this is actually the problematic color that was throwing the error in the first place. I should explain. The reason why this error happens is because the printer head with at least one of the colors from the printer head gets clogged. In my case, the cyan color was not used in a while because I hadn't printed out anything with it and it was almost empty. This causes the color to dry up and clog up inside of the printer head. So I'm gonna repeat the cycle for the cyan color twice until I can feel the resistance going away and the fluid flow through a little bit more freely. The key takeaway to avoiding having this error in the future is to never really let your colors dry out. You should always try and print something every now and again so that the colors don't get stuck and clogged in the printer head. Also if a color is near depletion, be sure to replace it. Don't let it sit at a minimal level for too long because this can also cause this error. The second time I'm only gonna pass about 5 milliliters through the cyan color. You may notice that the kitchen towel in the background is already soaking wet at this point. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process for the magenta and yellow as well. After we're done, we can move the printer head away so that we can get rid of the paper towel. It's usually a good idea to have gloves on because it can get a little bit messy but it's not a big deal if you get it on your hands, you can wash it out later. I am now going to get another paper towel to soak up any leftover liquid at the bottom of the printer. You may want to do that a couple of times to ensure that there's no liquid there because otherwise it will get stuck to the paper once you start printing. I'm now going to move the printer head on top of the paper towel just as I did in the beginning just so I catch any liquid that's on the underside of the printer head. I'm now going to move the printer head left and right to make sure no liquid remains. Just don't push down on the printer head too hard at this point because you don't want to rub it on top of the paper towel. Finally, I'm also going to clean the insides of the printer head to make sure that no liquid remains there as well. Just go slowly, be patient and make sure that no pieces of the paper towel clog up uh, the nozzles again.
And that's basically it. At this point you can put the cartridges back into the printer and close the printer up. I should note that after you're done with the manual printer head cleaning, you will need to run the color cleaning cycle as uh, noted in step 2 of this video. And this is because there is now cleaning fluid in the nozzles of your colors in the printer head and the cleaning fluid needs to be flushed out. You might need to run the cleaning cycle a couple of times for all of the cleaning liquid to go out and your colors to return back to normal. After you've done this, hopefully the printer head will be unclogged and the 0x97 error will go away. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you get your printer back on track. Now let's talk about the giveaway, shall we? In the beginning I mentioned that I'll be giving away this printer head cleaning kit and I'll be sending that anywhere in the world for the lucky winner. All you have to do to enter is to like this video, subscribe to my channel and then click the link in the description below. You'll be asked to provide your email address so they can reach out to you in case you win and to answer a super simple question based on the contents of this video. The contest will run until I reach 300 subscribers or until August 15, 2020, whichever comes first. At that point, I'll select a winner randomly and I reach out to you uh, so that you can provide me with some information on where to ship your prize. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. Until next time, peace.